13 is what? Eighth grade, right? Eighth, ninth grade. So this is why the Bible is important for our people. The Bible is about the resurrection of our nation of people. That's, That's right. mothers and the daughters. That's so a lot of the things that you tell her, guess what? It's in the Bible. But the right. Bible is our instruction on how to raise a family. Listen good right. to this. Get Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2. According to the Bible, God sets up an order on how he wants the brothers and how he wants the woman and the children. Because when I came into this, 16, a lot of the girls in high school were fast, having sex, getting pregnant. And guess what they did? They aborted the baby. They aborted the baby. Listen Bring to this, Titus 2. Titus. Let's see what Bring God says how the woman is supposed to be. Come on. Titus chapter 2, verse 3. And remember, you don't learn this in church. No, you don't learn this in church. In church, what do we learn? To donate the money, and a lot of the pastors are having sex with the daughters Word. of these sisters. Right. Listen, Bring it out. The aged woman likewise. So God is addressing who, sis? The aged woman. That starts with you. Come on. That they be in behavior. Notice he's saying that they be in behavior. So your daughter, guess what? She's going to look at your behavior. As you hear in the scriptures, you hear God is calling you. As you change, guess what? She's going to change. Because guess who you're looking at? You're looking at all the other girls in your high school. Because when I was in high school, I was looking at all the other brothers in my high school. You want to follow the crowd, but we don't roll like that. Right. So we got to follow what the Lord gave us. Come That's on. Right. As becometh holiness. Right, watch this. Not false accusers. So not false accusers, right, liars. Not giving too much wine. We can't be getting drunk. Guess what? A lot of parents get drunk in front of their children. Right. And the children learn these bad habits. Bring Come it on. Out. Teachers of good things. God says the aged women are to be teachers of good things. That's According to the Bible, we're going over the senior black woman. That's you, sis. Brother, y'all got to hear these scriptures. We're going over what God is saying, how he wants the aged black woman to act. How he wants them to behave. Come Bring on. Out, that they out. may teach. Come closer, brother. Listen to this. Come on. That they may teach the young women. That they may teach the young woman. That's example like your daughter. Come on. To be sober. To be clear-minded. What does it mean to be clear-minded? You're not smoking weed. Right. That's when I first started smoking weed. Seventh grade. That's 12. That's when it is introduced. Right. In yeah. middle school. Yeah. Elementary school, right. come on. To love their husbands. The Bible says, brother, we got to learn how to love. Do you agree with that? Do we have to learn how to love? Oh, it's natural. It's, it's, it's just in you. We must be taught. We must be taught. Come close, come close, come close. You said it too far. You said it too far. We came all the way from different states, so we want you to come close. That's right. According to the Bible, you said we must be taught how to love. God agrees with that. Love isn't just natural. Because guess what? Some people burn their kids with iron to say, I love them. I love them, but I'm burning my child with iron. Listen, come on. That they may teach the young women. The Bible says that they may teach the young woman. Go ahead. To be sober. To be clear-minded. You hear that, brother? We got to be clear-minded, brother. We can't be smoking weed. We can't be doing molly. Come on. To love their husbands. How to love the husband. You understand? The Bible says we have to be taught. Sisters have to be taught how to love their husbands. You married? Wait, 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 You married? Girlfriend? Okay, come, you gotta hear this. You married? Okay. But now, the Bible says, read that part again, how to love what? To love their husbands! Do you think it's natural? It comes natural how the black woman is supposed to love the black man? Is that natural? You believe so? Is that natural? The seed is there. You, the seed is there. The seed is there. Right? But the seed must be cultivated. Must be cultivated. Do you think it is? it comes natural for a black woman to love her black man? That's natural in her. She just knows how to do it. Is that true? What do you think? Do you think it's true? Listen to this. To love their husbands. All of this has to be taught. That's you have to right. learn how to love. You got to learn how to love. Keep that in mind. Come right here. Come right here. Stand over there. Come on. To love their children. You have to learn how to love your children. Right. That's right. The Bible says that's not that. You have to be taught that. Right. Come on. To be discreet. To be discreet. Is the black woman discreet? Hell no, she ain't discreet. We she has to learn how to be discreet. That's why you laughing. Is the black woman discreet? Our sisters, are they discreet? 
It probably their father just dealt with it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> that. <laughs> Right about We're that. Popping. You're right about that. We're not. Listen to this. Keep going. Chase! Uh-huh. Keepers at home. Keepers at home. Grandma, watch my baby. Why? So she can go clubbing. Bring it up. That's right. what happens in our households. Right. That's what happens in our households. Well, a lot work. of the young black women are leaving the Stop babies work. with grandma Stop so they can go clubbing. Work. Some Isn't that true? Work. Not all That's the time. true. That's a goddamn lie. Some Listen of y'all don't want to pay time. Good. For okay. And alimony. Okay. Okay. That, that happens too. So there's fault on both sides. Yeah. You saying it's the man and the woman, right? Yeah. Right. Right. I mean, Come on. Oh. Obedient to their own husbands. Obedient to their own husbands. This is something that we got to learn. He the Bible me. says we gotta learn how to be obedient to our own husbands. Keep going. That the word the of woman. God be not blasphemed. That the word of God be not blasphemed. So how do we know that this is addressing us as a nation? Way that this is talking about blacks and Hispanic. How do we know? Get Song of Solomon 1 and 5. This Bible is your history book. Yes. Yes. This is our history book. No, this is addressing not. us. There's more books. Just keep listening. Song yes. of Solomon 1 and verse That's 5. Watch this. Song of Solomon. This. Show you this is us. Chapter 1, verse 5. And I'm reading it. benefits you and your daughter. Come on. I am blessed. Song of Solomon in chapter 1. What book are we reading? The Holy Bible. Yes. 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 I am what? I am black. I am black, but what? But comely. What was the famous expression in the 60s? I'm black and beautiful. Yes, this yes, is the Bible right. speaking. Right. This is our book. Right. Read it out. I am black, but comely. Right. Oh, ye daughters. Oh, ye daughters. Oh, ye daughters. So he's addressing the woman. There's a major role for the woman to play. Right. But sisters have got to be believers. Right, Get Titus right. 1. Right. Titus 1 and 14. That's the thing. Bring it out, Guess what? Y'all live out here, right? Y'all got to come to the school. You live out here. You got to come. Isn't it written what that school? we supposed to serve the, the man of Esau? The man of Esau. Isn't it written that we always will serve him because we disobeyed the Lord in the, in the, in the future? Our Who, ancestors? Who's Esau? Uh, Esau and Jacob. Esau and Jacob, right? Who's Esau? Who's Esau? The white man. The white man, right. The Bible says we would serve the white man for a long time. Are we still but get, and we're still serving him. But guess what? Those days have an end. Yeah. There's a number to it. Those days have an end. That's why we're out here. Because the Bible says to gather together the elect. That's what this is about. A lot, a lot of it we say, oh, we want the Lord to come. You want the Lord to come? We don't want the Lord to come yet. Why? Because there's still believers out there. We got to find them. Right. Like, right. You, you will walk and think this was all by accident. No, this ain't by accident. You had to hear this. Come on. That's right. Titus, Titus 1 and 13. Titus chapter 1 verse 13. Bring it out. This witness is true. Uh -huh. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply. Right. That they may be sound in the faith. That we may be sound in the faith. I'm going to give you an example of being sound in the faith. <laughs> what color is the Lord Jesus Christ? Bring it out. Bring it out. Copper. Copper. Brown. Brown. What color is Christ? Or did he have a color? You say black. Oh. I, wait, I didn't hear you. You said, what's that? What, what color? Illuminated. What? What? Black. black. What color is Christ? Black. 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 You sure you believe that? In the Bible, they said he yeah, was a color. Black got all colors. Black got all colors. What do you say? Yeah, I believe. You believe it. What color do you think Christ is? Or did he even have a color? Same color as it was as burning. What do you say? Burning the furnace, right? Come on, sis. I know you know. Give her, give her. What do you think? Red. I think. He was a red man. He was our Brother guy. walking right there. What color is Jesus Christ? That's what we talk about. What color is Jesus Christ? Come here, come here, come here. I want you to stay and listen to this. Don't move on. Stay right here. Revelation chapter 1. Let's see what the Bible says. Because guess what? When I went to church, and when we all went to church, we saw this image. But did you ever read in the Bible that he looked like that? Ain't that the voice, that the voice Caesar? Yes. Let's see. We're going to find out right now. Because you're right. But let's read it. Revelation 1 and 13. Revelation chapter 1, verse 13. Read it out. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. Who is this talking here? John the Revelator. He's a black man. He's writing the description of Jesus Christ. Come That's on. Right. One like unto the Son of Man. There's one. This man I'm looking at, he looks like the Son of Man. Come on. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. Look at the brothers, how they dress. They're wearing garments down to the foot. Read. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Now, we broke brothers. We don't got golden girls, but we got linen. Come on. His head and his hairs were white like 
Whoa! Who has woolly hair today? We got woolly hair. You right. got woolly hair. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. The black woman always arms that she puts relaxer in. Right. Right. The, God, 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 the Bible says Christ had woolly hair. Yes. Right. As white as snow. And it was fully white. Yes. Watch this. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Why was the whites of his eyes like a flame of fire? Because he drank wine. wine. Come on. And his yeah. feet. Like it's a fine brass. Now his feet was like fine brass. What color is brass? Brown. Brown. As if what? As if they burst in a furnace. Christ was yes. his brother's complexion. Christ right. was your right. complexion. Right. When you have you burned rice before? Have you burned rice before? Yes. What color you burn anything? What color does it get? Black. Yes. So Christ is your color. Christ is your color. But right. here's the question: If we're the same color as Christ, why did they do this? Why you get out? Teacher! Why yeah, they do that? Huh? What's the reason? Because right over there on Five Points, there's a lot of drug addicts. Right. I see dope fiends. Right. Prostitution. Right. If Christ looked like me and you, us right here, why are the people of Christ on drugs? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yeah. why? What's the reason? Why yeah, are the no people of Christ? You said what? They don't have any self-respect. They don't have any self-respect. What's the reason why? If Christ looks like us, if Christ looks like us, why are his people strung out on drugs on five points? Bring it out! He said the enemy. Okay, okay, let's see. Get me Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Bring it out! Matter of fact, give me Romans 6. Romans 6 and verse 16. If we. Yeah, what's your question? I have a question. What's your question? Am I African? Are you what? Am I African? According to the Bible, you are a Israelite. Right. You're one of the know, 12 tribes of Israel. Video. That's correct. I saw it was here, but I want to see for real life. That's true. Yeah, That's true. Yeah, According yeah, to the yeah, Bible, we are the Israelites. That's, That's, right. That's right. right. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Listen to this. Come for, on. For the wages of sin is death. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. I want verse 16. Come verse on. 16. Do ye not know that whom ye yield yourselves servants to? Who obey? ye yield yourselves servants to? Listen. Who ye yield yourselves servants to, come on. Obey his servants, ye are to whom ye obey. Now watch what he says. Let's see who we obey. Listen. Whether of sin unto death. Whether of sin unto death. When you get that heroin, you're being a servant to the drugs. Right. Right. You're serving that sin. Right. What's that sin? Heroin, right. crack, right. cocaine, Jesus. weed, marijuana. Read it again from the top. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey. All of us yielded ourselves servants to something. We all serve something. You understand right. what I'm saying? Right. We serve right. something. Everybody got something that we serve. Right. The Bible tells us we have to serve God. That's right. We have to keep his commandments. But watch this. Come on. His servants ye are to whom ye obey. So let's see. If Christ is black like us, why are the people of Christ on drugs? Bring it, Bring it up. Whether of sin unto death. So when you always find that drug, you're hitting that needle. Why? Where is it going to bring you? Where is it going to bring you ultimately? Death. Right. What's, what do you think is going on on five points? That's a lot of drug addicts. Bring it up. Bring it up. And we are the people of the Messiah. That's, Best that's believe right. that. But God's people are strung out. Right. right. That's why the Bible says this, Matthew 15, 24. Bring it out. Bring it out. Listen to this according to the Bible. We're the people of God, but the people of God are serving sin. Right. Whether right. it's the alcohol, whether it's prostituting their bodies, right? right. Whether it's drugs, whether, whatever it is, it guess what we have to do? Overcome. That's right. Listen. That's right. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. Bring it out. He answered and said, I am not sent. I'm not sent, Christ said. I'm not sent to everybody. I'm not sent. But, but this is who I am sent to. Listen good. Unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But That's unto right. the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. Look at them on five points. They're drug addicts. A lot of our people under the bridge. What do you think? Why? Homeless, on drugs, right. prostitution. Right. We are lost in sin. Right. But right. that's why we came down here. Right. Because we had to free your mind. That's right. where it is. Right. Read it again. But he answered and said, 
I am not sent. I'm not sent to everybody. Right. Come on. But. But this is who I am sent to. Read. Unto the lost sheep. The lost sheep is on five points in Chicago, in New Orleans, in New York, in Philadelphia. Notice he said the lost sheep. Right. Mentally, we are lost. Yes. That's right. You understand? Is that true? Is that true? Is that true? We're lost. Come on. Of the house of Israel. Of the house of Israel. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.